in this. Are you, gonna, are you gonna say the rest of it? Limbo of indecision, but set course for your camp forthwith. Uh, all right, let's go. Who there, wanderer? Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. May I inquire? What? Perchance you return. Yeah, he's in camp. Ever a man. Yeah, let's go. And I would confirm it to be so. Please. Oh my no. god, this guy's got Jackal's memory. Immediately forgot what I just said. Alright, where's Gale? Oh, there he is. Alright, he's over there. My thanks for your excellent guidance. Ah, and yonder I spy the object of my pursuit. Elminster? The very same, Gale. And a fair bit miffed he is, too. Finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. I don't understand. How so on my behalf? I was bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. She sent me, Gale. You know... The goddess of magic? But why? Out with it, Elminster. Please. Young man, has your sojourn away from Waterdeep washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Nigh a ten day I've gone without honest fare, worthy of the name, drank naught, but what the sky entitled my thirst. Why, some bread, cheese, and a cup of wine would appear unto me a feast. Surely you will begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get... Out with it. Ah, <laughs> uh, we could part with a few rations. And a great kindness that would be. See, Gale, even in these barren parts, the art of hospitality begets inspired new works. If only one keeps up the practice. Oh, for the love of. <laughs> <Fine>. <laughs> Fine. I'll turn a deaf ear to the clarion calls with which my scorned stomach beseeches me. Graver matters are at hand. Plenty to digest, after all. A good deal to stew over, if you will. Words ladled with import should be savored so as to better absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you agree? Alminster. Right. Um, <laughs> Pictures of Spider-Man! You see, I, um, well, that is to say, Gail, my boy, I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can. Happy anniversary, big guy, my fluff bottle. Decorate my speech. I'm here on behalf of Mistra. The message... And the charge I bring you are hers. Oh, Choco Taco Guy, thank you for the prime sub, buddy. Appreciate you. Um, okay, what message and what charge will that be? The long-awaited question. Now, if you please, Elminster, for the too long-awaited answer. You know where you went wrong, Gail. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. But even so, you're to be given a chance of redemption. Mistra would consider forgiveness. She would consider what she considers to be forgiveness. <laughs> Mistra is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife with the absolute, that most insidious of evils. Hmm. You wouldn't happen to know of a cure, would you? Some all-powerful parasite withering spell, perhaps? Alas, the creature that afflicts you, the ill-begotten magic that it weaves, is inextricably conjoined with both the greater purpose 
and the greater master that it serves. You must know that the absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying. It threatens the gods, the weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gale, with its destruction. It is Mistress' belief that only you can. Uh... Gale alone? How so? The orb. Precisely. Mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at will. Interesting. This could be help or hindrance. We shall have to see. You must find the heart of the absolute, whatever that may be, and use yourself as the uh, catalyst that will burn it from this world. Wait, so he wants to use... Okay, uh, so what I think he's saying is Gale's ability to devour magical artifacts, he wants to use it on a, one of Mistress' enemies? Uh... Alright, hold on. I'm pretty sure I'm the, hitting one is you misunderstanding, but I'm gonna follow through with that to try to hope for a clarification. That's monstrous! You're tasking him to kill himself! He is not. But it seems that Mistra is. It brings me no pleasure saying this, my friend. But such is Mistra's will. Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the absolute. And for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. Such is Mistra's promise. With that, I've said my sorry piece. I need only bestow unto thee the charm I was bid. My Nahastra Mistra Italior Ras Annas Distra. It is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. To you, I commit into care Gale himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. There's still a long journey ahead. We'll find another way. Or some other fortune altogether. Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas. So too, the sky-strewn gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet, an ocean born in lonely hours, come ebb, come flow, come all that is beyond the breadth of our dominion. Be a moon unto yourself. I have no idea Even what you just said. the waves of fate can break upon the shores of will. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. Poof. So, I'm wondering, this guy, he said you'll have the ability to unleash it at will. Does he have a new, like, offensive power now? An audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But... Those are hard to come by these days. Hmm. He didn't seem much a friend showing up and demanding that you kill yourself. It's not a demand he wanted to make of me. As mistress chosen, he had no choice but to deliver her message. However much it pained him to do so. For mistress to have sent him. The severity of her bidding could not be clearer. 
all weigh more heavily on me. Time seems so infinite when you're young. A month is an age. A year is a lifetime. And it's a strange feeling to realize how little of it one might have left. You're seriously considering doing what Elminster said? Of course. We offer the clearest solution to our problem. All I have to do is find the right place and time, close my eyes, and let go. Then the slate will be clean. Wrongs will be righted, the absolute will be gone, and I along with it. I don't understand. Can't Mister just destroy the Absolute or Elminster himself? I've no doubt she has the power to do so, but as for the permission, Ao would not look kindly on her meddling in mortal affairs. Divine intervention has a tendency to make things worse, not better. As for Elminster, he saved the realms more times than legend can recount. But to take on a god is no easy feat, even for him. My orb is the best chance we have. And only I can wield it. There's surely another way. If there was, I'm sure the goddess of magic and the greatest wizard who ever lived would have identified it. But alas, only one solution is offered. That remains ahead of us for now. The heart of the Absolute must be discovered before I can stop its beating. Hmm. I'll make sure we find it, Gale. Then I suppose there is nothing more to be done but find the heart of the Absolute and stop its beating. Alright, so I'm curious. Um, hold on. I can't believe Mistra actually expects oh. Gale to just sacrifice himself like that. Seems like a waste of a fine mind. Okay, um, stay here. If you're sure. Fine. All right, let's have Gail join the party. I want to look What's at on your his mind? stuff for a second. With pl quite ready for you. So does he have? Shatter, fog cloud, magic missile, which will make armor and ice my breeze. My familiar. I don't see it. I was wondering, because he said that you could unleash the power at will. I was wondering if he was going to have, like, an actual new spell he could fire off in battle. But I'm not seeing anything Still akin breathing, to that. Despite everything. How can I help? I question the wisdom of that decision. I'll be here. May the darkness protect you. All right. Some... All right. Uh, okay. Elminster thing's done. And... Leave camp. Can't wait till I get those camp clothes so I can get busy not wearing them. <laughs> I mean, that was just everybody in armor. That wasn't rusting. Ooh. Broken Moon Lantern. That's our second one of those. Adept of the Absolute. Orders. Ah, oh, where did that go? I've been given the crucial task to clear the entrance to Grimforge for future expeditions. True soul near will follow once the entrance is cleared. As I make my way to the entrance, I can't help but feel excitement. What might we find uh, here that Ketheric created so long ago, now sealed by the curse? Grimforge could hold untold treasures for the Absolute's uses. I will continue to explore and document my findings. The entrance is currently blocked by vines and rubble, quite cursed. Explosives ought to do the job, though I'm not as experienced in such matters as I'd wish to be. I set up the explosives with care, though I admit I'm most afraid to detonate them. There's no telling what power these cursed vines hold, what may lie beyond, uh, or whether I've even set things up correctly. Absolute protect me. And that's a note on a dead guy. Alright, quick save. Ooh, a little cutscene. Door just closed behind us. I don't know what I expected, but 
Damn, this place is cursed. A grim sight indeed. My lungs already grow heavy with shadow. Why did it flip his... It keeps... Okay, hold on a sec. Never seen darkness like This guy. It, it doesn't really have an effect, but it keeps swapping this setting. Like, it's just constantly swapping that setting over. And I'm not sure why. Breathe deep and move. Will seems a bit different than usual. Uh, he got a haircut. Shadow Curse is a powerful threat that lurks in Devours in the Darkness. Surround yourself with light to avoid its most lethal effects. Light. Did she have a light spell? Not sure if she does after changing her to Druid. How do I use a torch? Wait, where's my torch? I had one. Dude, I had like 10 torches. Where are they? What's next? Okay, here's one. On I go. Still alive. So that's progress. That light, it's protecting me from the curse. <sighs> this place is heavy. What am I to do? No time to rest. Can I cast this on a person? Right, what now? Best be on my way. No, it just stays there. Pretty sure... In pen and paper, you can move dancing lights around? There is work to do. But it looks like they just stay in one spot. Let's get going. With haste. Under your range weapon swap, there should be a light source button. It should find any torch on you and use it. I see it. Thank you. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. To keep going. Oh. Together. Keep to the light. Harpers. Are we sneaking? Stop! Who's there? A ranger who knows the marks of a hunting party. What are you tracking? It'll be you unless you show yourself. Come out, slowly. Succeeded in perception. <laughs> Where's the rest of my party? Dude, why, why did I walk forward into all this? Jonas, move in. Oh! Jonas! Jonas! I'm here! Where are you? Jonas? Can you see our torches? I can't see anything! Something's wrong! Follow my voice! 
Come back to the light! Who's there? Meg? Is that... healthy. Ranger, I think we've just become prey. Stick together, stay in the light, no heroics. Harpus, you heard the man. Two arms! Will and Carlock approve. Okay. Um... I don't... If I swap to my weapon, though, the torch goes out. Also, what's my armor class like this? 19. Oh my god, where's my sword and shield? It unequipped them! Oh my gosh! Fantastic! this uh we're at a disadvantage now because i misunderstood the rule set for this interface Get lit up. Have to keep going. <laughs> Shillelagh. Trying to be careful so I don't get killed by my own moonbeam. Alright, that one's dead. Alright, what does the shadow curse do exactly in combat? Without a light source, you will take necrotic damage every turn. This damage doubles each turn you're affected by the curse. Okay. Um... Oh, she's out of rage charges. I did not realize that.
First off, move into the light. on that one. The shot finished them off. So, my main guy basically needs to be wielding a torch right now. Shadowheart's turn. Move Moonbeam. The reticule is so faint, I like can't even really see it. Send the imp over to where her torch is to help her. Wait, can the imp light the brazier? No, it doesn't look like it. I wonder if it's interact with it to light it or if I have to shoot it with a flame. Ooh, you got lucky, Harper Megan. Weak to Radiant. The Moonbeam, I think, might be doing double damage to them. Uh, Rend Vision. Oh, my... Oh, yeah, they. that's right. They killed my... Uh, my main uh, companion. My animal companion. Okay, cool. Another one down. Alright, uh, that killed the raven. Let's try this out. Fireball! We got a few... Oh gosh, let's do the overhead view. Alright, brazier plus two outs. Uh, it did hit them both. It did light the brazier. Cool. Nice! Get it, girl. Um... I want to run him over to hit that, but he's holding the torch, and I can't leave him, leave them without it. Well, actually, I think they, they take the damage at the end of their turn, so I think he can move, and then they can move on their next turn. Does she have the curse right now? No, she has Strength Drain. The Moonbeam, I think, is giving light, isn't it? I think it is. Uh, I'll find out in a moment. 